Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for another tutorial and today we're going to create a split screen. So before we're going to start, first we're going to do a few things. Uh, we're going to start with creating the camera and uh, just setting it within the editor, changing it to a split screen. Then we're also going to create a script so we can just change it uh, on the runtime from horizontal to vertical split screen because a lot of games have that function and I also want to create that. Um, we're going to create it within that you can press the spacebar and it will change. Of course, you're going to change it towards an option within UE, element and things like that. Uh, that's something we're going to do uh, a later time or probably even not. You can probably make it on your own. This is only the how to create the split screen itself. A few things about it before we're going to start. This world is just to show you guys that there are two different cameras and we can just show it. Um, we've got two different cameras, uh, the depth camera and I just duplicate it with a right click to camera 2 and it, two, and it just uh, changes the position and the rotation. Then here we have something called viewport rack. And that means the position where the screen will start. So this means it will start at the uh, left button. So right here in this camera para view. Um, and this is the wide and the height. So if we want to make a split screen, we're going to first we're going to make it a vertical split, split screen. It will look something like this. So the first camera, we want that on the left side. So it means the position needs to be left. It needs to start there. And the wide needs to be the half of what is default because this works with um, a percentage. So this is from zero to one. And one is just uh, the other end. And zero is the left side and also this is half the side of the whole screen that's how it works also we're going to change the position here of dot five because we want to make that it will start at the half of the um, after half of the screen we want to start the camera also we want to make the white only the half and there's a reason for it you can just say well you just see it the same isn't it but if you're going to do something like only it will render when it is within the camera view or something like that, the game still thinks uh, the camera is bigger than the actual screen. So it will just think that the screen, the camera will just go on after here. And of course you cannot see it, but it will render it. So it will cost a little bit of optimization or a little bit of, uh, of your uh, memory. So for optimization, you can just put this to dot five and it will make a huge difference. If you now want to create uh, UE elements, so for example the uh, player health and here also the player health of the second player, please use a different camera, a UE camera, and one camera for both players. That's very important because also that will optimize it a lot instead of just using a lot of cameras. Alright, so now right click within your folder view and select C sharp script and call it split screen. Open it up, reload all. I'm going to remove void start because we don't want that. We are going to have three variables, a public camera cam1, so we can access the first camera and we can change the viewport direct, a public camera cam2. We are also going to uh, use this one because we need to access to the second camera and we're going to create a new function called public void change side or let's just call it change split screen just to make very clear what's going to happen right here so we're going to exit with whenever you press the spacebar button of course you need to change it that it will only when you click a certain button within the screen in your option menu but we're not going to do that today because it's a whole different tutorial so get key down key code dot space but it's not very important, it's only to show you guys how this will work. So the very first thing we're going to do is using the third variable, which we didn't create yet, but we will talk about it right now. So we got vertical and horizontal. And we need to know which um, split screen it is currently using. So most times, um, well, we can we cannot say that it's always the horizontal or the vertical or whatever. So we're going to have a bool, a public bool called ori 
horizontal and it will be at the start false because currently we're using a vertical split screen. So here we're going to say that horizontal is going to be not horizontal. So actually we are um, um, we are making sure that whenever this is true, it is going to be false and when it's false, it's going to be true. Uh, it's going to create the upside of the current bool. After that, we can just do a very simple if else statement. Horizontal, whenever it's horizontal, well, we still need to figure out which rect it's going to be right here. And within the else, we just did it within the scene so we know what rect it is. Um, so the direct view here, right, which we see right here, is 0, 0 0.5.1 in this order. So we just actually need to copy this for the very first camera. And for the second camera, we do exactly the same, only dot five zero dot five one. So those fear variables we can just change very simply with cam one dot rect is the same as new rect zero zero dot five one, and we are adding this uh, f to know that it is a float and not a double. That's something we can talk about another time. But it's not very important right now. Um, cam two dot rect is of course uh, what it just showed. New rect. It will start on the half of the screen at the bottom. It will be half of the screen and a whole height. So as you can see right here, you can see the exact information about which variables those are. So we're just going to copy this. And whenever it's horizontal, it of course means that both of them are going to start at the left side of the camera. So both, because one is going to be right here. Yeah. And the other one is going to be right here. So it means they're going to, both going to start at the left side. Um, only the second one is, um, is going to be the higher one is going to start at the half of the screen of course you can just change those two and just say that uh, this is the first player whatever you can just very easily change those two um, variables here we're going to say that it is going to be one and this one is going to be dot five this was the size right so the white is going to be just a full white and the height is going to be half of it. So now here we're going to do something similar. Of course, this will start again at the bottom. And here we're going to say it's just one. And here we're going to say it's dot five. So the last thing we need to do is actually uh, test it. So what we're going to do is add towards camera one. We're going to add the script. We only need to add split screen once. If you do it twice, it will do weird things. We don't want that. So only at one time uh, within the camera or within the editor, this script, and then hit play. Very sorry about that. Yeah, it was a typo. All right. Let's just play it right now. So as you can see, every time I'm pressing space, it is chasing to where the position is. So as you can see, uh, this is the second player, is after that on the top and otherwise on the right. So everything works like it should be. And I really hope you guys learned something from it. If you did, please leave a like and please leave a subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you guys next week with another tutorial. Bye.